Xylophony here with Witchcraft and Wizardry. There's some new witchcraft cards, a whole new archetype that's probably slowly being built as we speak. But I'm going to try the first two that have been released, and I think they might work in spellbooks. I'm going to be fighting up against Mario and a bunch of stanky monsters. How's that sound? E stanky. What? They probably stink. They're big old kaijus, you know? What, you I mean, they, they bait? Well, actually. Most of them. Some of them do go in the Don't ocean. Yeah. So, you think that makes them smell nice? <laughs> All right. So, I think I can immediately bring out that new card, so I think I might do just that. Um, but I could do a little, I could go a little harder first. Yeah, since I'm fighting a kaiju deck, I should probably, geez, this is not a good matchup. Oh well, uh, so let's see, I'm gonna start off with Spellbook of Secrets. Now the reasoning behind putting Spellbooks in this deck is because, you know, Spellbooks give more spells and the new card benefits largely off having spells in hand. Um, so before I go playing all these spells in my hand, yeah, sure, I'll do this new thing. Just so we can see it. So, it's the Witchcraft Schmitter. Man, I am imagining you're not going to keep that name. Schmitter. Nope. As much as I love it. Um, but yes, it can activate its effect, and I can tribute this and discard one spell, special summoning one uh, Witchcraft monster from my deck. And which is the only other Witchcraft card in existence right now. Let's see. So, let's do it. I can just discard one spell. I'll make that the Cosmic Cyclone. And you know, we didn't actually check to see if there was like any anime versions or something. There could have been like a lot more. Uh, yeah, possibly. Uh, but here it is, Master Vare. Now when this thing does uh, damage, it I can reveal a number of spells in my hand with different names, and it gains attack and stuff. And if I discard, I can negate the effects of all your face-up monsters until the end of this turn. So, mm -hmm. we'll see. I guess we're just going to go for a nice little attack and see what happens. Because, ooh yeah, it doesn't have any normal base attack. That's interesting. Uh, chew bone. Uh, yep, and this will let you summon your chew bone token. So I could just discard a spell card if I wanted and counteract that completely. To your opponent's field and defense position. I mean, sure. Because I already have a monster out here. It's not like you don't have something to kaiju. Yeah, I actually found out something pretty interesting, too. Oh, no, I did activate the effect. Whoops. Uh, we'll get rid of this one. It's not the best right now. Just get okay, the, token. I just did the attack boost. Fully useless, but look, I get that boosted up by a thousand. Oh no, yeah, because you're the reveal. Okay, so good, I didn't waste anything. Cool. Anyway, you were saying? I was gonna say there's a nice little combo apparently with this card you used to back then. Uh, do you remember the? Uh, uh, I think it was like ground collapse. That uh, card. I've heard of it. Yeah. Apparently there was a little combo. Use this with ground collapse back then, and you, your opponent just didn't have a field anymore. This was before um, links, of course. Yeah. Like, I'm looking right now, and I can link off all these guys, but I don't really have any purpose to serve with doing that just yet. Mm-hmm. So, um, actually, do I have a purpose to serve? I believe this is a fire monster. Yeah, so I don't have a purpose to serve. All right, I suppose I will end my turn, and I can quick effect and negate effects, but I'm probably about to get kaiju so we'll see. Okay, let's we see. We got this grand spellbook power, so during my standby phase, I can uh, activate it if I have a spellcaster monster. Assuming I get to keep my spellcaster monster. Interrupt the kaiju slumber. That'll do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. And you oh, can run and more copies of that now. Holy you can man. run up to three now. Yep. That'll be so good in a straight kaiju deck. Well, it is in the straight kaiju deck. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's going to be so good. <sighs> Uh, which one do I bring up, though? Uh, yeah, let's just bring up one of your you favorite kaiju. You, like you give yourself a big guy. You know, it's simple. I know, I know, but I'm giving, making, bringing uh, out your favorite Jizuguru. one. Very mm -hmm. good one. Luckily, and I have thing that can take over your machines in this extra deck. No. <laughs> that would be so annoying right now. <laughs> I know, I was like, really? Why? I was like, I didn't have anything better to put in there. Because this deck is not very... I know, Well, first of all, this deck's not very good. But it's also not very extra deck reliant. So. Mm -hmm. We'll see. So I can use this and add a spellbook monster to the top. Well, can I? What can I do with this? If I have a spellbook monster there, I can place that on top. Uh, then draw a card when this card. I don't know. Let's activate the effect and see what happens. Oh, I can return that to the deck and draw a card. Okay, that's cool. Um, so now, what I can do with this uh, witchcraft card is I can do something different. I can send a witchcraft card from my deck to the graveyard. I don't know why that would be any good right now. Um... But I'm sure once more 
cards are added. It could be beneficial. Anyway, let's see what we can do next. I guess we're gonna go for the spell with Magician of Prophecy. Yep. And we're just gonna. Get... You've always played with these little guys. You've always played with they're, these cards, but never in the full deck. For draw power. Yeah, this is my first time actually touching these guys in the full deck. So let's see. We can add to my hand. Um, how about? How do I do anything about this? Hmm. I can go for. Let's see. Return to hand now. Uh, what are you looking at for your defense? No, that's not gonna work. There's a there's a toolbox full of options here. So I gotta be really careful. If you control spellcaster monster, I can reveal another spellbook card in my hand. And then target something in my graveyard, and I can take that effect. I don't have anything sp oh, I could be down to use something like that. So yeah, that sounds fun. Let's spellbook of the master. Um, however, I can only activate one spellbook of secrets per turn, and that's the one I was thinking of using it on. So we'll pass on that, and we will go for, um, let's just spellbook of knowledge, see what we can draw off this. Oh yeah, and I can literally get rid of anything, I don't even need to ditch my monster. Okay. Yeah. Alright, let's use monster reborn. Now let's get, a uh, Master Ver out again. Yep. Let's go for the battle. Activate this card. Reveal spells. Boop, boop. Oh, I just canceled its effects. Whoops. Oh, man, I want to use scapegoat. Okay, so the timing, I gotta yeah, get Yeah, you're only two. allowed to have one as well. Yep. Oh, that is 3,000 uh -huh. <laughs> When you, That's why you want to keep a handful of spell cards with this deck. Um, okay. This'll do. And literally, spellbook power does that, so you don't need to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Unless he's terraforming. Let me give out my waterfront. Oh, we got fairly similar uh, field cards. Both little towers. Mm -hmm. Let's activate this. Yeah, Let me get it. out my super anti-kaiju. Yep. Oh, I'm man. gonna give you... My... Choice. Gandara. Okay. Then let's summon Godzilla. I mean, Dogaran. Yep. <laughs> Uh, let's Such see. Such a cute little doggy. Yeah, I mean, Monster Reborn was pretty big pull. I don't know how I'm going to continuously p keep this up, though. Mm-hmm. I mean, to be fair, I've met plenty of spellbook decks that are just extremely annoying. Yeah, annoying for sure. I just don't see how I'm going to win <laughs> the duel. <sighs> I can do cool things, but doing damage could be the hard part. Yeah. Let's see. Use that effect. Sure. Let's uh, send. Ooh, let's send this back to deck. So now I. Uh, okay. So I got a high priestess of prophecy, so I can get another powerful spellcaster out, nice and easy. Um, yeah, I'll start off by doing that because I can special summon this. Just by going bang, bang, bang. Look at all these spellbook cards. Monster number two. I'm still in this. And mm -hmm. then what can I do? I guess I might as well use Spellbook Magician of Prophecy. There we go. And I kind of want to just do the standard thing, because I think I have all the tools I need, at least for this round. So let's get that Spellbook of Knowledge. And we'll... Yeah, I don't want to ditch any spells, so let's just keep using it on our Magicians. So there's that. Oh yeah, Kaiju counters, baby. Yep. That's gonna be bad. Let's see, so what can I do here? That's not gonna do it. Let's see, what can I do with this? And apply this. Okay, so that can help out quite a bit. Um, in fact, I think it's gonna be just about ready to use, but first let's use Spellbook of the Master. Oh, I have to discard to do this too? Oh no, I just have to reveal one, okay. And uh, then, let's see, this card becomes that effect. Is it the card I'm revealing or? I don't know, let's find out. Just reveal another spellbook card. And then let's see spellbook of secrets. Okay, so it does just it's the card on the field that takes the effect. Excellent. So let's grab ourselves more spellbook cards. Now we don't have one of these. Sure. So let's grab that. Now this one I don't think gets any crazier things. I can banish one spellbook and then target a card on the field, destroy. Okay, never mind, that's pretty good. So I can banish from the graveyard. Let's just banish these Spellbook of Secrets here and get rid of your 
Kyoto Waterfront. Oh, I did it get far enough. While three or more, you can... Uh... Hmm. What you can... Uh, no, no. If it would be destroyed, I can get rid of a oh, kaiju yeah, counter to, instead. Oh, I have to get rid of one counter. Oh, boy. Well, I can't do that again. All right. And it's just would be destroyed. Is that the wording? Each... Uh, let's see. If this yes, card would be destroyed by card, by card effect. Effect. Okay, so I have to banish it. Which I believe I can do. Um, but... Let's see... Yeah, I'm gonna play the Spellbook of Fate. And, oh no, I have to banish three, and I only have two. That's not good. <laughs> um, I take it back. I take it back. Darn it. Um, and what can that do? I can return one set spell or trap card on the field to the hand. Nope. I can change one monster on the field to face down or face up attack. Sure. Here you go, Chew Bone. Give me the... Okay, now I can actually use this to some advantage. Yeah, bore load or something? I could. In fact, I may. Um, <laughs> so let's... Ooh, ah, no, this is more destroyed. I got a uh, Nightmare Phoenix in here, of course, as well, but that just destroys as well. Um, well let's get out of Mrs. Radiant here. And hey, let's... Chew Bone power is up too. Yeah, Chew Bone. Let's get this out. <laughs> now what shall I do? I guess I will now activate... Darn it, I really messed up with that card. And let's see, reveal one card, then target... Ah, darn it! So Mario's timer ran out and we had to do this again, so... My timer! Your timer. Your timer, Mario. So make sure to, my... you know, just be a little... A little smoother with your place. Thank you, Mario. I'd appreciate please tell it. Me please tell, tell me you're keeping the previous duel in the video. What do you mean? No, I'm cutting out the very end so everyone doesn't have to see your disgrace of running out the timer. <laughs> All right. It's, so what do we got? Sure, here? it was my cards that did it. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, okay, so I don't have a single spellbook card here, but I do have this witchcraft schmitter. Oh, so you get to play that card right away. Yep. And then I just have to discard a card. Oh, don't need a quiz in this right now, do I? It's not going to be super strong, though, because I can only uh, reveal one card. But, yep, that's going to be that. Attack! Oh, does it have to be specific things? Uh, I think it's when in ba battling monster. Oh, so that means right. it has to be in battle so with another just, You can't just go crazy and wreck someone's life points. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, not the best hand here. I mean, last time I got to use all the stuff. I don't dislike these new witchcraft cards. Like, so far, first turn, both duels, I've been able to bring it out. All you need is one piece, and it comes out. And if you have a deck full of spell cards like this one, it'll benefit heavily. If you're considering it with Dark Magician, but Dark Magician just doesn't use spell cards nearly as heavily. Mm-hmm. But, you know what? It's not so invasive that it would be a bad idea. It wouldn't, no. So, maybe I'll look at it and consider it. If you guys want to see that in the future, then tell me Witchcraft plus Dark Magician. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so obviously Lightning's good against Water type. So, you're going to win this matchup. We're not playing Pokemon Xylo. Yes, we are. We're never playing Pokemon Xylo. You got to remember the tournament's okay. over. Okay, so we are going to go in with an instant fusion this time. Ooh. And get Thousand Eyes Restrict! Of course. Yeah. Battle. Oh, yeah. You can't do that. <laughs> well. Can't you just take him right now? Nope. Wait, yeah, I can. Uh, yeah, that's the whole point of putting him in the. Uh, I thought he had to uh, attack or to do that, but that's the uh, regular relinquished, of course. Okay. So mm -hmm. there's that, and we've gotten rid of that now. Um, he still goes away with Insta Fusion, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna switch him out for this guy, because why not? I remember the first time I used him, you did not expect him, so I actually got to use him appropriately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the second you knew, but the second duel when you knew he was in there, he just yeah, avoided yeah, yeah. those zones. Yep. Let's see. Very good. <laughs> Field card, just because why not? Yeah. Uh, we ain't getting rid of that waterfront so easily, and man, it's stacking. Gonna add kaiju monsters from deck to hand for days now. Yep. Oh man, and like, 
outlasting you might not be the answer with this deck because it's not a super long-term deck, I don't think. Nope. No big surprise and there. G zero in. Yep. And then using this. More kaijus. Yeah, let's get the super anti-war kaiju. Yep. Well, let's get rid of you. Defeat Jizukuru. <laughs> All right. I think I'm my PI in trouble now. A lot of trouble. It would have been so. It would have been so annoying if you had uh, the the uh, one that takes over machines <laughs> right now. Yep. trouble. I got two dead cards in my hand and one that's not very good for this situation. Yeah. And one that's okay, but not... also just not good for this situation. Use three to add a kaiju to my hand. At least you can't, like, summon more kaijus, more kaijus. So. Yeah. Let's add Thunder King to my hand. Alright. Just getting the good ones. Yeah, they'll be ready. Unfortunately, I can't do anything until you actually get rid of Jizukuru. Yeah, you can keep doing that. <laughs> okay, end phase. All I'm not right. really setting up a defense against you or anything either. Nope. Scapegoats! Help me out, guys. That's gonna be a borrow load right there. Oh, yeah. That's one of the reasons why Konami put that to one. Mm hmm. <laughs> Even though you're getting lucky and getting it at the right times. Yeah. Alright, so we can do this now. <laughs> I mean, last time I just kind of wasted it. It wasn't really a right time, was it? No. And, okay. So let's get ourselves the Misos Radion. There we go. Power for scapegoats now, Mario. Power! <laughs> oh no. The powerful Link Spider. And Link Ribble, the Trinity is here. Oh, I should have put Avram in here. But, I mean, you got Kaijus. You got the counter to everything. So, guess the best answer here is Boral Ode rather than Boral Sword. Although they're both going to be very short-lived um, answers. So, yeah. We'll just Boral Ode it. So we can at least keep your Kaiju on... Oh, wait, no, actually. I probably don't want to keep your Kaiju on my side of the field. Because then you'll just be able to summon and then flip stuff again. Hmm. I should know, keeping a kaiju on my side of the field is actually pretty great now I'm thinking about it. It's just, it's a weird re interaction that you don't see a lot. So, kaijus versus boil load. So I'll attack it. I'll do my best to take control of it. Um, I think it's going for that right now, so yeah. I'll do this. Yeah, I can't, I can't chain anything to him activating his effects. Remember, that's one of the things. Yeah, no, I, I knew that was the case. And, mm -hmm. oh, you can't attack? Oh. Wait. You're, uh... Jizukuru. You should be able to. There's nothing stopping you. Hmm. Okay. That's always that's always a point. Like, Borolo takes a monster and you attack. Maybe I, um, just misclicked or something. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, do this. But now I have a kaiju on my side of the field. And yes, you can just summon a kaiju. But at least I got a strong one for right now. Yeah, so let me get Gemma Seal. For you. Oh, shoot. I forgot that since you already control one, I can't exactly. just take away your Borolo. that was my thought. Oh, and you already activated the card. Nice. Yeah. I was planning on just using him to take... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that's I bad for I me. i just leave him out there if I were you. You'll take a hit, but you got life points. Yeah. At least in the end phase, his yep. goes away. Very much so. Yeah, Borloads, that's an interesting counter against Kaijus. Mm-hmm. All right, so what are we going to do now? Sweet. We're going to cause... Like a Cosmic Cycle on your waterfront. Yeah, it's got five counters on it. Why not? It's not like I have spellbook cards that are going to benefit off my spells. Oh, can you quick play that? Oh, what's Gamsio do? Uh, when you, acti when you activate activation. a... Activation. Fun. That's why I have to be careful on which one I give you that, on Kaijus, because you could activate their effects yeah, at any time. I could have gotten around that just by taking them over first. Okay, nice. Yeah. Very good. Um, yeah, still no. Well... There was a benefit of big. accidentally putting them out. 
All right, I'm gonna normal summon uh, Justice of Prophecy. And I will use Spellbook of Power on it. Yeah. So it gives uh, me some thousand attack and some other cool effects. As long as I have counters. Yeah, you can just straight keep doing that, you jerk. But I'm down to one counter though. I need to spend two. Yeah, very much so. <laughs> that's why there's that's why there's multiple kaiju cards that can give counters. Mhm. Mm yeah, so that's no good. And I don't think that counts as a use of that. Um, but yeah, let's battle. Let's attack. Yeah. Let's get a kaiju on our side of the field again. Um, although it's not a strong one, so it's not as big a deal as last time. Mhm. Mm now the question is, are you going to be able to attack with them? Yeah, I can, of course. Why wouldn't I be able to, Mario? <sighs> <laughs> this game. Chill bound, bound, this, bound. this would be the perfect time for me to draw the interrupted kaiju slumber. Uh -huh. Alright, attack. There we go. Okay, so you're able to... I still don't understand why you couldn't attack with GZ Kuru. I think I just misclicked it. Okay. Um, and you got your two counters on. I could bring out a Phoenix right now. Um, Would that actually... That destroys, doesn't it? Um, it does destroy, so you only need one counter to protect it, right? So, yeah, I'm not going to Yeah. And then, yep, everything's good. There's a big boy. Dog ran. How strong is he Using, looking now? Taking two counters from there. Mm -hmm. I can then equip any uh, kaiju from my hand or grave to him. Mm -hmm. Like my Thunder King. And increase his power that by that much. Decent. Well. It's, uh, mm -hmm. it's okay, I guess. Destroy the justice of prophecy. Alright, Borolo, do your thing. Save my life points. Is it barely gonna be enough to yeah. save you? I think it's like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just barely. <laughs> Alright, that puts me in a reasonable position now. I think you win now, because I think you can just... Yeah, you can um, just... I can hit you for a 28 plus 22. Yeah, I, I, I got you. No, uh, the 22 goes away. Oh, yeah, true. Ooh, I need something else, then. Because you uh, can't attack with Borrowload after you take over my... Yeah, well, um, we're going to go for the Phoenix just for sake of getting the attack power out here. Oh, darn it, I can't use these two. But wait, I got this, I got this. We just got to get one of these out, Foist. Then we can, uh, then we can bring it out like so. And I could totally destroy the Thunder King with this. But it still wouldn't be enough. So I guess I might as well just make you burn a counter. Oh wait, no, I have to discard to that. Why am I doing that? Well, this card's dead in hand anyway, so. Burn your counter. Activate. Um, I can switch this guy for a Link Haribo for the extra damage. And... Can I normal summon this now? Reveal? Oh, normal summon. Yeah, I still can't because I haven't gotten any spellbook cards, man. <laughs> we'll do this. My two bones are starting to bite me in the bite me right now. <laughs> okay, now I can actually get the field card. I actually could have done that last turn, I think. Yeah, I'm using up your two bones. Like when you're going up against a slow player deck, it's fine, but this deck like can move off that. Use so Yeah. But like we saw like in previous things when you didn't have the two bones, I just sit out there and be like, Alright, I'll wait till I can OTK you. You got nothing. <laughs> yep. And I'll take over your dog around. I think I just cut your attack. Wait, so I didn't take it. Fine. Whatever. <laughs> I didn't have the win anyway. Yeah, I got one more turn. Let's see what I can do. Yep. Because I don't have an answer. Well, I mean, Warlord's been surviving out here. so. Yeah. But now I don't have a Kaiju on my side of the field so you can get him out of here. Yeah. And that's really what's been saving me, just taking over a Kaiju. And now I didn't do it. Because... Honestly, it technically was a misclick in this case, but that's just... You're going to mess up Borload every once in a while on my GoPro. You just are. Because it's like, activate the effect? No. Activate the effect? Yes. Activate the effect? No. 
Got it. Perfect. You gotta do it in a very specific order. Yeah. Okay, so I think I win with this. So I'll do this to take over your Bora load. Uh -huh. I'll give you Thunder King. Then special summon Doggeran. Activate right. Doggeran. Taking oh, away three cards. Oh, destroy all. Hold up. Hold up. You used Doggeran earlier, didn't you? No effect, buddy. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. That was a smooth move, but I had the one card that shut it down, didn't I? Shouldn't oh, have used man. Doggeran earlier. I mean, you, th you couldn't have predicted this. It's not mm, on you. True. Ooh, that was a close call, close call. And then, um, yeah, it doesn't mean I necessarily win next turn, but I'm in a good position. Better I guess I'll make you burn your, yep. wait, I can't attack? Um, can you not attack with this? Let's see. Oh, can you not effect, attack when you use that effect or something? Once per turn, do that. This card cannot attack the turn you activate that effect. Okay. Okay. So I would have lost everything, but you would have still kept him. Still would have been a win for you, so still the right move for me. All right, Spellbook Tower. We can play with our Spellbook cards. Or not. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, okay, so you do have more than that amount of Kaiju monsters. Add to my... Uh, or select like to return to the deck. That card, of course. Hey, I caught a Spellbook card. If I control a spellbook monster, which I do not, and I am not going to at any point soon. Um, but I can play the spellbook of secrets. And Draw some monster. more. Yep. We're going to get, of course, this guy so I can get more cards, possibly. we got to give ourselves a chance, give you a million tokens. <laughs> um, however, let's do some quick maths right here. Oh, no, just as long as I keep Phoenix and uh, Thunder King on the field, I should be okay. Depending on... What's this card do? Destroy by opponent's card effect, you can draw two cards. Okay, so it's not going to protect you. So I should still be fine, I think. Okay. Uh... Uh... No. I'll try and think of my options right now. Yeah. I don't think there's many. Um, so what can I do? I can do this and that to my hand. I could, I could. Um, I could also use this, banish one spellcaster from graveyard. Sure. Let's try this one out. Burr, burr, burr. We'll just banish this that guy. Looks like a, that looks like a ritual card. It does a little bit, you know? And select a mo Oh, it's a special summons a monster back. Hey! Nice. That's sick. Oh, it's like a cheeky little monster reborn. Just you gotta banish to use it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, let's let you do this because I only have one spell in my hand, so I wouldn't be really be able to use this card to its max benefit. I activate this, flipping him down face down defense position. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Um, let's activate this card to see if we can uh, change the world. Can I use this? Banish one card your opponent controls. Yes, I would like to do that, please. By banishing all three of these cards. Dalgaran, get your booty out of here. Right, okay, Good yeah. enough. Good enough. We made it. We made it. <laughs> yeah, that's um, the reason why spellbook cards are so annoying, because they have yeah, so many of those. I have, like, the annoying effects, even if I don't have the damage. Like, I can chip away at you. And I can see I'm, why the things like the scapegoats yeah. are in here, just to give you enough of a powers edge occasionally. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Definite. Right, let's go one last round. See how this goes. Mm-hmm. The first uh, one, it's kind of up in the air. It looked like it was favoring you, but... Yeah. Who knows with spellbooks? Alright, so do I gotta go foist this time? Yep. Yeah, I do. Alright, you remove. <laughs> I'm a jerk who knows how to play against kaijus, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. That's why I have right, these counter cards for you. Good. Excellent, now you can actually play, so I can't do this continuously. I would hate oh, to I know. be that guy. Um, I'm actually I'm actually one of the few that actually uses Chubonin in the Kaiju deck. A lot of people just I mean, rely on people not knowing what it... Yeah, it's because they yeah. rely on the randomness of online that they don't know what deck they're running. Yeah, and I feel like that should work most of the time. But 
you know, you catch yourself up against a certain type of player and they'll be like, all right, good luck, buddy. Um, so let's get the Spellbook of Secrets to start off with. Uh, not that you really need to use it for thinning stuff out of the deck with this deck, but... Mm-hmm. We got that going now. I am trying to get more Spellbook cards into the graveyard, however, so I guess it does have a large benefit. Um, we're going to get the Spellbook of Knowledge to hand. Unfortunately, I only have two, so I can't get the Spellbook of Prophecy out here so easily. Do I gamble and pull out the... Yeah, I think I do. Uh... Yeah, I do. Get this monster off my side of the field. Um, still cannot do my thing. I am disappointed. Um, I'm just gonna end my turn. You're gonna chew bone me and then kaiju it and then attack stuff. But, mm -hmm. yeah, I can't really say much about that at the moment. Um, oh, darn it, I have to discard because of it. Alright, better get out of here. Eh, yeah. You don't want this one in your hand. I only have two copies in deck and three of the one that summons it, but maybe it's a 3 1 type of deal. I think if you ran it in something that wasn't so specifically based for it, it would be a 3 1. Um, and obviously, mm -hmm. if you have more witchcraft cards, maybe it would be still two. Yeah, just gonna play my Kaiju, my Kyoto Waterfront. Yep. Flip up Chewbone, of course. Yep. Don't activate this effect so I can just attack you with 300. Yeah, smart. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay. Then. Uh, let's see. You want to give me Jizikiru. All right. <laughs> That's what you want to do. Not today. Oh, okay. <laughs> I will be giving you... Mothra. All right. It's Ghidorla, then... not Mothra. Gosh. Just because that has mystery <laughs> dust coming off a of moth kaiju doesn't mean it's Mothra-based. <laughs> then let's have... Ri okay. Then let's have him attack. Very good. I got two chew bones. Just to oh. get a counter. Ah, uh, I didn't. It didn't work fast enough. Okay. Uh, you're trying to double it up. Yeah. At least you got one for the uh, mission, one for the waterfront. I can at least do it now. Do that. Get my token out with 2,800 attack. Oh yeah, that one's gonna be a rough one. Yeah, this is the only one that lets you have more than one kaiju, because this one doesn't count as a to as a kaiju. It counts as a radiant token. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do. I think I might be able to use that against you. So, um, also, don't have three spell book monsters, so I can't make that play. And that, it wouldn't be the answer. Actually, it could help. Nah, it wouldn't be enough. And this card, nope, not the answer. So we're gonna raid Geki. Uh, this. Do it. Protect my monster. Oh. Nope. Oh, but you now gave me we're going to Monster Reborn on Radian. Mm. And, and I'm guessing what me, you're you got any counters on the field? Oh, you do? Wonderful. How wonderful. Oh, I can only do it once a turn. Still. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's see what else we got for you. That's uh, 56... What else can I do? I can get another 19 on the 56, but that would leave me 500 points shy. Hmm. There's so many decks you you I never see you use Raigeki and Ormu. I threw it such. in this deck just because a lot of it relies on having additional spell names, and I was like, well, Raigeki is one of the you know better spells, even if it's not important for a lot of decks. Mm-hmm. Um, and ooh, can I? Use, I could have just yeah. Let's just do this. Actually, normal summoning. I forgot it's part of the game. <laughs> you always forget, because you always give up your normal summon for a special summon. Yep. And do I have three spellbook cards? No. Um, but once a turn, I can banish one spellbook card and then target this card on the field and destroy it. Um, can you protect your trap card with that uh, that thing? I don't know. Let's find out. Nope. Didn't think Only, so. uh... But it does have a secondary effect when it's destroyed. Uh-oh. What's it do? I get to wipe out your monsters. Oh, man, that's not good. Okay, that was... Uh... Nope, nope, I'm just kidding. I get okay. to draw two cards. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> Just imagine it did that. I could have protected one of mine. I was like, okay, I got this. I got this. I got this. Wait, wait. No, we're fine. Okay. You made me panic. You made me panic. We are. Right. We are. Right. Actually, I I'm mean about? today. I don't know why I'm mean today. I have all kinds of stuff to do here. Because I didn't need to do it. I can banish this guy to bring the other one back. I could have done this earlier. And then that can do stuff. Yo, we did it. I did it, Mario. <laughs> and then just to be extra mean, I can play the secret village of spellcasters. But that's for next turn, but there won't be one. So we're just going to attack with the Radiant, of course. It's the monster reborn you had that really yeah, the monster it reborn is so like these things have been huge for me. Yeah, so, no, I would have wiped you next turn. And that's what a lot of the strength of this is. It just, you know, depends on the you know bunch of different cool spells, and well, it works out. So yeah, you would have wiped you, me. Oh, slumber. Not slumber. The fact is, I would have been able to easily get my uh, dogger into my hand, mm, use slumber. three counters, and then yes. wipe out and ward wipe you. Very much so, and I could have protected my uh, one of my spellcasters, but but that's, that's about it. So. Then I have yeah. Very nice, and then yeah, Which you would just be sitting out there. there? Uh, oh, I have uh, one in my hand. It's a quick play, so I wouldn't. Oh, yeah. then I would have just tributed it away and give you a weaker monster. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So it would have just continued the train, but you know you would have absolutely gained off of all that. But yeah, yeah. That, that's cheeky. That's the thing. If you have stuff like. You know, a Regeki monster reborn combo. Sure, you can counter kaijus. But, you know, kaijus aren't a main thing that people should expect to need to counter. So, I wouldn't worry too hard, guys. But hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I think it was pretty good. Maybe I'll use a spellcaster deck in the future. Let me know what you want to see it go up against. And we'll make that happen. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. See you, folks.